Well, thank you very much, and it really is a testimony uh, to Mr. Suzio that he has so many friends and colleagues here today, so I would add my uh, congratulations to all of you because that's really what this is about, democracy in action, and this is my favorite part of my new job. So <laughs> without further, Mr. Suzio, if you'd raise your right hand, and we have everybody where they need to be. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut so long as you continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the office of State Senator to the best of your abilities, so help you God? I do so enthusiastically. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I want to be the first to introduce to you State Senator Len Suzio. Thank you all. Thank you so much. I'm going to make a speech Anna Newman would be proud of. <laughs> Very short. There's two things I want to say. One is, they said this was an impossible election to win, and we won it. We won it not because of the big guns that came in. We won it because of the little guns, the little people, the people who do the everyday work in a campaign and work every day in the community. And I will never forget that. I owe the victory to you. It's our victory together. <laughs> and there's only one other thing I want to say. They did say it was going to be an impossible victory. Well, they said Connecticut's budget may be an impossible uh, thing to deal with. I know we're going to deal with the budget. We're going to do it in a way that's going to solve our problems, and we're not going to raise taxes to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on my way out to California uh, earlier this week, uh, I studied the budget back and forth, so I had a lot of time to read a lot of detail. And Tom Scott predicted I would fall asleep over somewhere over St. Louis, and it was about Phoenix, I think, when I hit. <laughs> But I must say, I have some ideas that I think can help out tremendously dealing with the deficit. I just can't wait to get in with my re Republican colleagues to share those ideas with them. And I think we can show that the Republicans can present a really constructive approach to solving Connecticut's budget problems in a way that the Democrats have never thought of, in a way, again, that will save our taxpayers from the biggest tax hike in Connecticut history. And I look forward to working with all of you. And after, this, uh, and after the reception, I'm going to go right into the Appropriations Committee uh, hearing, and I'm looking forward to it. I promise you all, I will work as hard for you as I did in my 14 years on the Board of Education and in the campaign. And again, I, can't, I said would end the campaign. We began the campaign with a thank you. I want to end it with a thank you. Thank you all very much. God bless you all. Thank you. Great job.